Welcome to Minister's Message. It's Friday, the 15th of May. Many of these videos have been done in glorious sunshine and warmer temperatures, but today is a little different. Don't be fooled by the blue sky that you can see behind me. It is very windy today and I've spent quite a bit of time this afternoon trying to set up the camera where the least amount of wind uh, will come through the microphone. But many of you will be able to work out where I am. I'm on the Ashfield Road. This Ashfield Road is very uh, significant and important even to the history of the Seaboard Villages. Many of you will remember walking along this road as children as you were led to the big and older Free Church building over uh, behind me in Fern. You used to uh, walk along that road. I've heard going into many of your homes and you've shared with me that uh, you can recall this road being black with people as together, as individuals, as families, as a community, you made your way to the house of God. Uh, to bring that into uh, my own situation and memories in my own home village in Tang, I we used to have the communion sermon of the weekend on the Friday in the Tongue Church. And I remember seeing the line of cars queuing to get into the car park and then queuing at the crossroads after the service, making their way to the Congregational Fellowship in back. A sight I loved seeing all of these people my friends, my neighbours, my family members, making their way to God's house. Well, I don't know what uh, memories this road has for so many of you, and if you're in a different area, you may have your own uh, roads and paths that you have walked on throughout your life that you can remember walking to church. Maybe they're good and happy memories. Maybe they're not. Maybe you just recall being dragged to church and the long, uh, long services. But many of you were walk walking along this road as children. Many of you were taken by your parents to God's house and under the gospel. And now you as parents and grandparents come every Sunday to God's house, taking your own children and grandchildren under the gospel. Well, listen, that's something to give thanks for today, that the Lord hears our prayers, hearing the prayers of so many parents and grandparents from generations gone by, and hearing now your prayers for your children and your grandchildren. Yes, we're not walking or driving to our churches physically but would you join us again on Sunday and bring your family to church the morning as I preach from uh, John's Gospel chapter 6 Jesus feeding the 5,000 and in the evening Alistair will preach from Matthew chapter 4 where Jesus endures the temptation from Satan well, we're going to uh, read again God's Word, and the MacDonald family are going to uh, read this for us. For my portion, Lord, I have promised to obey your words. I have sought your face with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways and have turned my steps to your statutes. I will hasten and not delay to obey your commands. Though the wicked bind me with ropes, I will not forget your law. At midnight I rise to give you thanks for your righteous laws. I am a friend to all who fear you, to all who follow your precepts. The earth is filled with your love. Lord, teach me your decrees. Thank you guys for reading God's word to us. In verse 59, I have considered my ways and have turned my steps to your statutes. 
may our steps be in the way of God. May we be walking in the direction that Jesus is leading. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Well, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we pray to you, thanking you for you hearing the prayers of our parents and our grandparents. We thank you for the many who have walked along this path and have come to the house of God. May we be saying with the psalmist, I joyed when to the house of God go up, they said to me. Oh, may we come to church this weekend and may our families join together, those in their homes, those, Lord, who are separated from us for now. But Lord, we pray that many would come to your word this weekend and that they would hear it and that they would be saved by the power of the Holy Spirit. O oh Lord, go with us. Be with each one listening and help them even this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.